In this video, we are going to talk about the ideal gas equations, ideal gas relations for moist air. The concepts involved in this video are um, partial pressure, total pressure, and absolute humidity. Now let's imagine we have a two-component ideal gas mixture. This is the case for moist air. Moist, in moist air, we uh, assume that there's the air molecule and there's the water, air, water vapor molecule. So it's a two-component ideal gas mixture. And here I use blue and red spheres to represent the two types of uh, molecules. And as we can, as we know, uh, the, uh, the the total pressure that we we can measure that's exerted on the container wall that contains such a two-component ideal gas is due to the bombardment of uh, both the red and the blue uh, molecules. Okay, the bombardment of uh, blue and red particles, molecules, cause the, uh, the total pressure exerted on the inside of the container wall. So that's the concept of total pressure. What is the partial pressure? We know there's, when we, when we talk about the, uh, many of the concepts involved in the moist air, we involve the, we invoke the, the concept of uh, partial pressure of water vapor. Imagine, imagine I can take all the dry air, the, the air molecules away. So the blue particles, the blue spheres are gone, but I keep the, the, the remaining red spheres, the red molecules in the same container, and the container is a, ri is a, is a rigid container, the, the volume of the container does not change. So now you have a, a much uh, uh, lower density uh, uh, lower density ideal gas equation, ideal gas system that's only got one component. Now this one component uh, also the, the the molecules of this one com component also randomly move, uh, and it causes a uh, it causes bombardment on the inside of the container, and that causes a pressure. This is the the so-called partial pressure of this corresponding single component. So suppose this is the the red component is the the water. Uh, vapor, then the, um, uh, the the result of this bombardment of, of red, par red molecules is the partial pressure of this red component. If it's water vapor, then it's the water vapor partial pressure. Okay, now we can go back to the, the first page that uh, we saw, we started this video with. Um, in this slide, we show several equations that are all uh, most of them are ideal gas equations that represent the various ideal gas uh, relations that is applicable uh, to the moist air. First, let's look at uh, this moist air column. This is the ideal gas equation of state, and uh, we know this is the uh, this is the uh, the to this is the total pressure. So this is the total pressure of uh, the of the moist air. And this capital V, this is the volume, this is the total volume of a moist air system. Um, this parentheses, this pair of parentheses, this represent the N, this is the number of molecules, or the, the mole of molecules, the number of moles of molecules. Okay, mole of molecules. And R sub U is the, uh, the, the universal ideal gas constant, which is uh, uh, 8.314 kilojoule per kilogram per K. Uh, and T is the uh, thermodynamic temperature of the system. So that's, that's to the, uh, for the moist, moist air system itself. And likewise, we can calculate the partial pressure, or we can uh, put the partial pressure of water vapor into a ideal gas, ideal gas equation of state. So here, this is the partial pressure. This is the water vapor partial pressure. Uh, ideal gas, uh, this is the uh, water vapor uh, partial pressure. And the V is still the, uh, the total volume of that uh, container that I showed you in the previous slides. 
um, this this term is the uh, the the molar amount of uh, this is the mole of uh, water molecules. Okay, and R sub U and T are still the same as in the uh, the moist air equation. Likewise, we can have a ideal gas equation of state for the dry air. This is the uh, the partial pressure of a uh, uh, this is the dry air. This is the dry air partial pressure. And uh, this is the 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 mole of uh, dry air. Okay. And we know uh, we defined uh, the absolute humidity concept um, elsewhere in this series of lectures. And we know the um, uh, the the meaning of this absolute humidity is a uh, it's a ratio it's ratio of a uh, it's ratio of a water vapor divided by the uh, the 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 ma the the mass of uh, so it's the mass ratio of water vapor to dry air okay um, and then if you know the uh, the the dry, the moist air the the dry air mass this would give you the water vapor mass. So this is equivalent to the equation above. So that's how the absolute humidity plays in a role in this whole thing. And then likewise, we can uh, use the, uh, the, the absolute uh, humidity or the humidity ratio in the moisture um, ideal gas equation of state. Further, we can introduce the concept of a water vapor molar fraction, which is the uh, ratio of uh, the partial pressure of water vapor. This is a uh, water vapor, and this is the total. Okay, it's so the ratio of a uh, water vapor partial pressure to the total pressure. The water vapor molar fraction um, is not frequently used in uh, uh, in moist air analysis, but it's a useful uh, concept to to have to know.